Today I'm going to be filming a haul for you. It's kind of big, might be massive, I'm not sure. <laughs> We're gonna get through it as fast as I can. I did film a haul previous that got lost. I've had computer issues lately. Probably haven't even been able to tell because I've been on it trying to get videos up for you guys and for my vlog channel, but my MacBook took a dive and it's so frustrating because I lost so many tutorials that I had worked on. But we're gonna move on from that and get into this haul. I know how much you guys love my hauls and I love filming hauls for you guys so let's dive right into this. This is a bunch of makeup, some accessories, handbags, designer stuff, things like that. Things I've just been accumulating so I could show you guys. So hopefully, fingers crossed, this video makes it to YouTube. Okay, so my hair is going up. This means business. I've been saving up my points at Sephora because I knew they were going to come out with something like this. They came out with a thousand point reward, so if you spend an excessive amount of money at Sephora like I do, then you can save up for this. And this is by Mark, a Mark Jacobs. He made this exclusively for Sephora. And it's the Love and Lust set, and it comes with a full size, a lip gloss, and a lipstick. These are limited edition. Oh, it just flops open. Comes with a little Marc Jacobs beauty book in there. Two Marc Jacobs lip products. So I have one lip lacquer and I love it. But this is a new one. I thought these would be really good for the fall. Initially I saw this and I thought they were kind of like um, granny-ish colors. No offense to grandmas because I have a hip grandma. So. Okay, I'm really trying to get this out right now. And it's not coming out. What the heck? Did they glue it in here? Seriously, do I need to like get something to pry it up? I think I just like scratch this. How the heck is this in here like this? Okay, after a lifetime of trying to get that out. The Marc Jacobs lipstick in Cabernet. Lipstick. I'm not really drawn to this color. I think it's going to be pretty for fall. We'll see. Um, it's just about to henna. Henna. I was just about to put it on my henna hand. Not going to happen. It's actually really pretty. A lot prettier than I thought it was going to be. I think it's a really pretty berry, obviously Cabernet wine shade. I think I'm going to love that for the fall. So really excited for that. This lip gloss though is something different. It has a lot of shimmer in it. That looks like that right there. And it's really pretty. I'm excited to try these on. And I tried rubbing this off and there's so much glitter in that. So. We might have issues with that. One thing that I have been eyeing on Sephora, I've been waiting for it to come back in stock, and it finally was, and it's the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector, the Pressed Illuminator in Moonstone. I have Opal, but I've always wanted to try Moonstone. It's a lighter golden sheen. This is what it looks like. I just think this will be better suited to my skin in the winter time, just because it's not as gold. It's a pale gold, mind you, but it's still very flattering on my lighter skin for the winter. So really love that. I'm actually, no, am I? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Man. I'm actually wearing this today as a highlight. I put it on the high point of my cheekbone and kind of I blended it out on the edges. It's such an intense highlight. I need another highlighter like I need another hole in the head. So really didn't need this, but highlight is probably my favorite beauty product out there. I love glowing. So really enjoying this. Um, I think I might actually like it better than Opal. I don't know. Maybe. Hudson's Bay had Illamasqua on sale. Never tried Illamasqua. I know that's crazy. You would have thought that I have tried that by now, but I haven't. So I wanted to pick up some products from Illamasqua since there was a sale. It was now the time to try it. Heard so much about the Illamasqua Hydra Veil, the rehydrating gel. I've used it once. Not sure what I think about it. I have to use it more to really get an impression about it, but I remember Pixie Wu talking about this a while ago, but I'm excited to really fully test this out because it looks like it's going to be something that I like, especially for the winter. So have that, and another highlighter apparently. Uh, I got the Illamasqua Gleam Highlighter in Aurora, and I've used this already, and I really like it. It's quite sheer, and what is the word for it? I don't know. It's very sheer. 
It's a really pretty cream highlight though. And I love cream highlights, especially for the winter because I'm more dry. So I like uh, my cream products a lot more. And I was running low on my MAC Pearl, which is my all-time favorite cream one. So I figure may as well pick up another cream highlighter, something that I would actually use and I know I would use. So I wanted to try out these cream pigments by Elamasca. So I picked up three. I'm covered in swatches already. And I have been using Androgen all this past month in August and you guys have been asking what's been on my lips and my cheeks and I have been using that for both. You can use this on your eye as well but this color I'm not particularly going to use on my eye area but it's just a really pretty peachy pink color and it's perfect for your lips, for your cheeks. It's very opaque and the only cream blush product that I was using before is the NYX cream blushes and as much as I like those this formula is so much better it's just thicker it stays put and it's more opaque so I really am loving these cream pigments and then I got a couple other colors that I thought would be really good for contouring and for eye bases so I picked up hollow and this doesn't have the name on it whoops and emerge so this is hollow, it looks like this, looks pretty basic, I thought it would be an awesome eyelash, eyelash. thought it would be an awesome eyeshadow base and I thought this would be kind of nice for the hollows of the cheeks as well so I'm going to try that out in a tutorial I'm sure. And this one is quite warm but if I'm super fair I, I thought I would use this as a contour as well yes it's very warm orange toned wouldn't think to use it but i saw someone use a color like this as a contour and it looked really unique and cool uh, if i don't use it for that i can definitely mix it in with lip colors or use it as an eyeshadow base so really really love these products and that's and all from Illamasqua. also Coraz sent me a few products they sent me the greek yogurt the nourishing primer I've heard about this before, I actually was going to buy this a while ago, but I never ended up doing it, so I'm excited that I have it now to try, and it just sounds like it would be something really good, especially because the winter's coming up, something nourishing, hydrating, a primer, make my makeup last, like that. And then they sent me also two lip butters in pomegranate and guava. I've actually tried these before, love them, ja Jasmine is one of my favorite lip products ever, and yeah, I already know I like these. These are really pretty colors and you can't have enough lip butters, lip balms in my opinion. Uh, those are what I wear more than anything just because I don't like my lips being dry in the slightest. So guava, guava looks like this. It's just kind of a clearish looking color, light pale yellow. And then pomegranate is more pigmented, a nice pomegranate color obviously and those will be getting a ton of use by me. I already know I love the Cora's lip butters. And then City Cosmetics sent me a bunch of things to try. They sent me their lash enhancing serum which I've started to use and I can already tell a difference. I'm loving that. And then I am they sent me a pore minimizing primer which I have yet to try but sounds like it will be good. I don't really have too much of an issue with pores, but I will give it a try and see how I like it. Let you guys know what City Cosmetics is really known for, I think, is their plumping lip glosses, their City Lips. And they sent me a ton of shades, and I've been using, what is it, Los Angeles in a lot of looks on Instagram. You've probably seen that. And these do plump up your lips quite a bit, and they don't sting or hurt or anything like that. So they give you quite plump lips without that stinging, burning, painful sensation. I actually used the clear one a long time ago. It was a sample sent to me. So I was really excited when they contacted me because I knew, Jeez. because I knew I already loved the formula. So really excited to try these. Then I picked up all 18, I think it is, of the LA Girl Glazed Lip Paints. I wanted to do a swatch video for you guys for that, so I'm not going to swatch them all here just because that's a little bit excessive. I'm going to do lip swatches in an entire video dedicated to these glosses for you. They came out with 12 new shades. They originally had these six, 
So now there is 18. 18. <laughs> I think lip swatch videos are really useful, so that's why I'm going to do one for you guys and to see how they are. I really love them. They're really inexpensive and amazing. So definitely something to check out, but I will have a swatch video coming up soon just so that you can decide uh, which colors you would prefer to wear. Then Gerard Cosmetics sent me a little care package. They sent me all their uh, lip caught their lip glosses in the new packaging. So I have some more uh, sitting down, but I just wanted to show you a couple of my favorites. Well, made. it looks like this. I've been wearing this in two of my past videos. You've been asking what I was wearing. It's been the buttercream. Huge fan of Fiji and salmon. Since the fall's coming up, I'm probably going to be wearing Seduction a lot. And it looks really, really pretty, like a deep wine shade. So I'm excited to uh, wear that for the fall. Let me know if you want a lip swatch video of the Gerard Cosmetics lip products. I know they're coming out with some lipsticks as well. I don't know if that would be something you guys are interested in since everyone and their mom talks about uh, Gerard Cosmetics. Uh, but I just wanted to let you know that I do have them, so if you want to see them or if you want a video about them, I can definitely do that for you guys. Also from Sephora, I use this in a tutorial already, it's the Hourglass Canvas Lip Opaque Rouge Lip Paint. And it looks like this. I love the sleek packaging. These are ridiculously expensive, I'm not going to lie. Uh, but this is what I use to create that 90s lip color. I use it on top of Whirl Lip Pencil by MAC, but on this, but on its own, it's a really pretty daily rosy pink color, perfect for every single day. It's not super drying, it dries a little bit on your lips, but any long wearing matte lip cream I find will dry your lips a little bit. But this has been the, the least drying of the long wear matte lip products that I've ever tried. So really love it. Definitely worth the money. Love the color. Perfect for every day. If you're looking for something of that color and that will last you all day, best friend right here. If you watched my August favorites, a couple of these are going to be repeats to you. But I did want to share some of the things that I picked up clothing wise, accessory wise, just because I found so many good finds this past uh, little bit. And the first being the Escada Cherry in the Air. It's a limited edition perfume. I found this at Winners, and I don't think you can get it. Maybe you can. It was limited edition, but it, it smells so good. If you like cherries at all, Fruity Scents right here. I've been wearing this so much. I just got this this month, and I'm already down so much. So I've been using it a lot. So love that. Then on Hot Look, they've been getting a lot of my money recently just because they've had so many great companies go on sale and I can't pass up a good deal, especially on companies that I love. So I decided to pick up some of these Alex and Ani charm bracelets and these were on Hot Look. They sold out pretty fast, I believe. I was right on there when they came on, but I got just this yellow charm one. Then I picked up the initial A and the initial K just because those are my son's initials AK and I just love them and it's funny because they're called Alex and Ani my son's called Alex and he really loves these bracelets every time I wear them he's always like playing and jingling with them multi-purpose kids toy and fashion accessory from Hot Look I also picked up this Rebecca Minkoff purse I talked more about this in my August favorites I absolutely am in love with this purse I've been wanting a gray Rebecca Minkoff for some time I have a black one but I've always wanted a gray and this one has the zips one that I this is a different kind of design than the one I already have but I love uh, the detail the tassels everything about this bag just going to be perfect. I don't normally wear silver hardware, so it's definitely a change, something to add to my handbag collection. A couple of you have actually asked about me showing a handbag collection, so give this video a like and let me know in the comments down below if that's something you'd be interested in. I can definitely film that for you guys if you are interested in seeing a handbag collection video. Another handbag I wanted to share with you guys, I got at the Niagara Outlets, and I was just there in Niagara on the Lake with my husband not too long ago, and he kindly picked me up this bag. It was at the Kate Spade Outlet, and I think on Wednesdays, it's called After Work Wednesday, where it's normally 40% off, but you get an additional 20, so it's 60% off. I'm going to go show you this bag. 
I actually left the store thinking I wasn't going to get a bag just because even with a discount I just didn't want to spend that kind of money. I think this was almost $400 regularly but with 60% off it wasn't too bad. But hubby surprised me with it. So it looks like this. It's just a black tote. Really classic design. I love classic handbags because they don't go out of style. You can use it multi-purpose. This is just totally a Cheryl handbag. My hair is super crazy. Uh, black and gold is just my thing. And I love the zip detail on the top. So this part, the main part, opens up. I love the lining in it. Here, I'm covering up my face. I love the lining in it. Uh, some of the bags had kind of crazy lining, which I didn't care for. Uh, this is just black and white. Pretty plain. Pretty standard. Uh, something that I like has a couple pockets in there, a zip uh, inside, but what I love, as I was talking about before, what I love is that they have the zip detailing on these two sections. So you get these inner pockets, or these outer inner pockets, uh, right there. So it's really great. I love the design. have nothing like it. I don't actually have a tote bag like this. I always wanted to get one of the Louis Vuitton Neverfulls, but clearly those are really expensive. So this was a good alternative. Still a uh, designer, but more affordable. So love this bag. And then Hot Look had Ray-Ban. And if you are subscribed to my vlog channel, you know I've been using my Ray-Ban green sunglasses every single day pretty much since I got them. So I justified buying myself these for a discount and they're the blue ones but depending on how you look at them they turn violet which I think is really cool. This is like my favorite color ever in these sunglasses. That purple shade. But I think they're the large size. I love my glasses a bit big uh, but I love the Ray-Ban style. I love the colored Ray-Ban so you can see my ring light but Wish they had these maybe at the beginning of the summer on sale, but I'm glad that I have myself a pair now because I've seen so many people with these and I wanted them ever since I saw them the first time. Also at Sephora I ended up repurchasing this kit from Paracone MD. It is their Science of Cold Plasma kit. I've talked about this a couple times. Talked about this in the haul and then talked about this in my skincare routine. Had to repurchase this. This does wonders for my skin. I have issues with texture and hyperpigmentation. My skin has never looked better since using this kit. It's $98 US, but a $241 value. I would never buy these things individually, as I said in the past, because it's just way too much money. But in this kit, this lasts me six months. So that's pretty good. I just use it at night, and it does wonders for my skin. Six months for only 100 bucks. Really, I can justify it for what it does to my skin. So 100% would recommend. This is a rebuy for me. If you've been wanting to buy this ever since seeing my skincare videos and stuff, just go right ahead and buy it. I love this kit. Then I got a couple brush sets, new brush sets, that were sent to me for review. The first was from Sedona Lace. This was designed by Makeup by Ren Ren, and I'm sure a lot of you have heard of her before. I love the set that it comes with. I was really attracted to this fan brush. It's so big. I have nothing like that. So I'm excited to try these brushes. They're quite affordable for what you get. And you get 13 brushes in this Vortex brush set. And it also comes with a zippered pouch that turns into a brush belt. So I think this is really great, especially if you're uh, in the makeup industry and need a brush belt. This just works out perfectly. I actually don't have my own brush belt, so that's probably what I was looking forward to the most from this, was that it was in a, a brush belt. It's really hard to say. And then I was super excited about this company. There is Zoeva. These are probably one of the most luxurious looking brushes that I have. I absolutely love how these are packaged. It They came in this little dust jacket. And this is a German-based uh, makeup brush company. I'm sure a lot of you in Europe or overseas have heard about uh, this company before, but this is new to me. This is the Rose Gold set. So it comes in this leather pouch with rose gold zip. It says Zoeva on it. Just super, super gorgeous. It comes with nine brushes, all with the rose gold ferrules, black handles, 
super classy, glamorous. I absolutely love rose gold. So I'm really excited to use these uh, in some future tutorials, let you know how the quality is. They feel really soft. I just washed them, gave them a good bath. So they're ready for use in a tutorial. Also, I would love to use just this as a purse or a clutch or whatnot. It has a little zip inside, so I would totally rock this as just an accessory. That's how much I love the case it comes with. They also send me an individual brush. I was really curious as to this one just because I wanted to find an alternative to the NARS Eda for you guys. And it's the 109 Lux Face Paint Brush. And it looks like this. It's kind of squared. And it reminded me a lot of the NARS Eda, but a little bit smaller. Different kind of design. A little bit smaller. So I'm thinking it's going to do the same thing as this, which I absolutely love. But as I said, it's a little bit smaller, a little bit more dense. I think it might actually work a little bit better. So it's probably cheaper as well. This is just going to be really great for that sharp angled contour or if you want to use this for some nose contour, which I like using the sides of these kinds of brushes for the nose. It's just like a one step swoop and you're done. Super excited for that. So definitely check that out if you uh, wanted the NARS Eda, don't want to spend the money. I think this is a little bit cheaper. I'll put the prices down below. And then they also sent me a blush to try. It's called Shy Beauty and it's their Luxe Color Blush. Comes in the sleek black packaging. Just looks like the perfect neutral everyday slightly peachy warm uh, cheek color. Super excited to try this. This is me and a blush right here is right here. I talked about Smitten by Makeup Geek a lot in comparison. It's quite a bit more peach, but more neutral. Definitely great for everyday uh, wear. Perfect for fair skins and just a slight wash of color for a more medium tone. Super excited. I love the mirror. It says Zoeva on it. Really, really nice packaging. I'm blinding you, sorry. Uh, love that. Tons and tons of new products to share with you guys. I hope you sat through this whole video with me. I know you guys love my hauls. It's been quite a bit. It's been a hot minute since I've filmed the haul for you guys just because the other one kind of took a dive. So I'm going to try and recover that footage for you and show that to you guys at a future date just because I think you're still going to like it even though it's going to be a little bit old but whatever. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul as much as I enjoyed filming it for you guys. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Definitely head over to my vlog channel if you have not. I vlogged every single day in August. I did vlogist. But with that said, I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so, so much for watching and supporting my channel. I'm nearly or almost at 70K. That's, that's a huge deal to me. So thank you so much. Appreciate it. All your support. Uh, it's because of you guys I get to do what I love to do here on YouTube for you guys. So... Thank you, thank you, thank you. You need this bra in your life. I think it was like 70 or 80 dollars. Yes, it's expensive, but if you want to have like amazing looking boobs, you gotta pick this up. It's the cage back. It gives such great